everyone and welcome back. We're carrying on with our flower theme for a third week and this time we're going to be covering the whole of the paper and creating something similar to this style of artwork but we're going to do it different. We're going to do daisies. So grab yourself some salt, grab yourself some masking fluid and let's get started. Okay, so here you can see I've got my A5 sheet of paper which I've taped down to my board and I've applied masking fluid using an old brush and just created, I didn't draw them first, I just put on some blobs of masking fluid to create some white which are going to be our white flowers. I've also then taken my brush of masking fluid and tapped it over the background to all these little dots of masking fluid which are going to be tiny little white dots in the finished painting okay so we're ready to start painting so i'm going to take some water clean water make sure your masking fluid is fully dry i usually dry it with a hair dryer to speed things up and a liberal coating of water over your paper just go over a couple of times make sure you've got it nicely covered and you should have a nice shine to your paper when you're finished i'm just going to tilt my board up to show you the shine there we go and i'm going to also wipe down my masking tape and as i hold it up if there's too much water it will come to one end and then i can just mop that up okay size 12 brush I'm going to go into my paint colours. Now I use my primary set of watercolours, which are Phalo Blue, Quinacridone Magenta and Hansa Yellow. Here we go. And the other colours that I often use are Burnt Sienna and Friends Grey or Payne's Grey. If you want to know more about my free essential colours, pop over to the link that you see above and you can follow the video there okay don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well i always forget to ask people to do that it's okay so i'm going to mix up my background colors i'm going to go for my phalo blue i'm going to add a little bit of burnt sienna to that just to turn it a little bit greeny gray green just to tone it down a bit now because we've already wet the paper you want your colors to be fairly strong and then i'm going to have some green as well so phalo blue again as a start then i'm going to pop in some hands of yellow you could use lemon yellow for this mix my green and i want it a little bit more earthy looking so i'm going to add a touch of magenta and that third primary colour is just going to tone it down and take it to a more natural green. I think I want it darker still, so I'm going to add a little bit of grey. Okay, our colours mixed. We can start applying them to the paper. Nice and liberally. Don't overthink it. We just want to create an abstract pattern of colours in the background, wet in wet allowing this to mix in with the water that we've already put down what i am going to focus on is getting some strong color around where the daisies are my paper's drying quickly today and then into the green down the bottom half and i'm going to let the green meet the blue and mix together you can see i'm not overthinking this i'm just having fun applying the colors and making sure around the daisies is nice and dark it's really going to make them pop later on now my paper's dried really quickly on me today so i'm going to have to add a bit more water to the paper to keep everything flowing and moving together if that happens to you just take some clean water and add it to some of the white areas of the paper i'm not covering the whole sheet in color it will do that itself wet in wet the paint's just going to play on the paper okay i'm going to go darker still i want some real depth of color behind my daisies so i'm taking mixing the green again adding a bit of gray 
to darken it. I'm going to bring these dark colours, just using the shape of the brush to tap down and plant, if you pardon the pun, these darker greens, little puddles of colour on the paper, going nice and dark again around where the daisies are sitting. I think I'll add a bit more blue at the top as well. It's going to be really wet. You're going to have lots of action between these colours as the colours just mix and play. And you can see the daisies underneath, the poking through the masking, the masking fluid. You can just about see it. Okay, now I'm going to carry on, this time just with my grey over the green and darken. I'm going straight from the pan, really rich, strong colours. I have some real dark grassy colours at the bottom. Now because grey is made up with a lot of blue in it, you're going to get the green still coming through. Let's take some green a bit higher up into that blue and just have fun guys. You're not going to go wrong with this one. A bit more blue in my background at the top, taking the colour a little bit stronger, adding that little bit of burnt sienna just to tone that colour down. Focusing again around where the daisies are going to sit so they're nicely covered. A bit more blue at the top there. And now we've got a bit of a waiting game. Once you're happy with your background, you're happy with the strength of colour. Remember your watercolours will dry back lighter than when you put them on. So go a bit darker than you think you need to. Just an abstract piece of fun. Now we're going to let this dry back until the shine starts to disappear. So that gloss that you see now, we need to wait five or ten minutes for that to die down, I'm also going to use my tissue to mop up the mess on my masking tape. There we go. And we'll come back when that shine has started to disappear. Dry back, you can see it's got a little bit lighter. And now I'm going to sprinkle some water, just clean water my brush I'm just going to splatter over the surface so hold the brush horizontal with your work and splatter over the top and I'm also going to take some normal table salt you can use sea salt if you wish I'm just going to drizzle that over the surface as well just a sprinkle and that's going to create some lovely texture in the background and now we're also going to create some stems. So just using the end of a paint tube or a paper clip or a craft knife, we're just going to drag that through the damp paint. And what's going to happen, the damp paint underneath is going to sink into these little scores that we're making in the paper, creating some grass-like features in our background so any semi-sharp implement will do as i say the end of a paint tube is just perfect so once it's fully dry we can brush off the salt and you'll see the salt has left this wonderful pattern in the background where it's soaked up some of the paint and then we're just going to rub off the masking fluid and reveal our daisies. I just use my finger. Some people like to use an eraser or a piece of tape. Fabulous. Okay. So now we're going to put the centre in our daisies. So I'm going to pick up some of my lovely hands of yellow. Nice and creamy and strong. And I'm just going to tone it down a little bit, add it, make it a little bit orangey with a touch of magenta so give us that lovely egg yolk yellow and we're just going to pop in the centre of our daisies now I've drawn my daisies in different positions so some of them 
are facing us full on and others are looking away. So I'm putting the yellow at the top on those ones and in the centre of the others. We've got our lovely pretty daisies. Now to add some flurries and some leaves and some stems. So I'm going to use my size 6 brush. I'm going to take my dark green. So it's a green I mix up with the blue, the yellow, a touch of magenta and a touch of grey. And I'm going to come under the daisies and create some stems coming down. Just touch under the daisy. It doesn't matter if you have a broken line. It all adds to the effect. Come on the tip of your brush. Add some stems. And whilst I'm doing that, I'm going to add a few more grasses to the background. Just coming on the tip of my brush. If I want a fatter leaf, I'll push down and through and up. And let's have some leaves as well. And I'm just going to use the shape of the brush to push down and create some leaf shapes. Just pop in some leaves. Just use the shape of your brush. Come one side and then the other. To add some interest and some foliage in our background. It's almost like stamping with your brush to create these leaves. Nice and dark because my background's dark. So I'm coming either side. Just stamping down some leaves into that background, really adding to the picture. Have some coming up high. Really simple shapes. Let's have a sit back and have a look where else I want some leaves let's have some coming across here mainly because i don't like the stem i painted so i'm covering it up with pretty leaves and coming down into the bottom just stamp on Turn your page around to get a better angle. Use that point of your brush to create the leaf shape. This is a size 6 brush that I'm using for this. And I think we need some more over this side. taking our eye in and some of them you'll notice I'm adding more grey to making them dark so they really stand out and they come closer to us and I'm also going to do some that are a bit more weaker so I'm adding some water to my mix and these ones will look like they're further back because they're lighter Stamp them on, filling up your page. I'm going to have some dark ones again down this bottom corner in the foreground, which are really going to push the others back. So these ones become prominent and the lighter ones go and sink into the distance. Let's have a look, see if I want any more. Let's have some over this corner, just coming in, just doing the side profile of some leaves, just coming into shot. Really simple shapes. You can have so much fun with this. Um, let me have a look, maybe have some coming high up here. 
kind of framing everything. You can't go wrong. Just turn my sheet around again so I get a nice angle. Fabulous. And finally, I'm going to do a little bit of splattering. I do love a splatter. So with my dark green, let's add some yellow back in there. I'm just going to touch a blue. Whatever you fancy. Nice rich colour and I'm going to splatter over the top. So hold your brush horizontal with your paper and just give it a gentle tap. You could, of course, do this with white as well if you wanted to use white gauche or gouache, however you pronounce it. You could do that. Just a final splattering over the top. And there we have our wonderful daisies. Let's see if this has worked. Pulling back the tape and revealing fingers crossed a nice clean edge i hope you enjoyed painting the daisies with me and you'll go on to create your own floral scenes please make sure you hit the subscribe button i'd really appreciate it and you can also follow the links to my other flower classes take care have fun painting and i will see you soon bye bye, -bye.